Alright, so if you're seeing a P0341 code, that's pointing to a problem with the camshaft position sensor on bank 1. Either the signal doesn't make sense to the ECM, or it's out of range. Basically, the camshaft sensor works with the crankshaft sensor to keep the engine timed right. Tells the ECM exactly when to fire spark and inject fuel. If it's off, the engine might crank longer than usual, idle rough, hesitate, or even stall. The camshaft sensor is usually located on the top or front of the engine, near the valve cover, or on the timing cover depending on your setup. Bank 1 just means the side of the engine that has cylinder number 1. If you don't have a scan tool, you can borrow one for free from AutoZone or O'Reilly Auto Parts. Just walk in and ask. With a scanner that shows live data, you can sometimes see if the cam signal is dropping out or not syncing right with the crank sensor. So here's what you check. First thing, look at the sensor and the wiring. Since it's up top, it's not as exposed, but still, check for cracked wires, loose plugs, or corrosion. Make sure the connector is seated right and not full of oil or gunk. Next, if everything looks clean, it might just be a bad sensor. These are pretty common to fail. They're usually held in with one bolt and easy to swap. Now, if you do end up replacing the camshaft sensor, some vehicles will require a relearn procedure afterward, especially if it still throws the code after you clear it. This lets the ECM sync the new sensor with the crank sensor. Some scan tools can do it, or you may need a shop to handle it depending on your car. Another thing, a timing issue can also cause this. Like if your timing belt or chain is stretched, jumped a tooth, or the timing is just off. That can throw this code even if the sensor is good, because the cam and crank signals aren't lining up right. Also, low engine oil or dirty oil can mess with the cam phaser on engines with variable valve timing. So, check your oil level and condition while you're in there. So yeah, check the sensor and connector, check for any timing issues, and make sure the oil's good. If you swap the sensor, see if a relearn is needed. Clear the code, take it for a drive, and if it stays off, you're good. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next.